This is the South African morning. A very good morning to you if you are just joining us. Well, South African squash is set to emerge from its coronavirus-enforced shutdown with a series of tournaments next month. The Growth Point SA Nationals will take place at the Brooklyn Mall in Pretoria from the 15th to the 17th of October. For more on this, we are joined by Squash SA Acting CEO Jennifer Sawyer via Zoom. A very good morning to you, Jennifer. I know all sports was affected by COVID-19, but how badly was squash affected and you've had to reassess a couple of things um absolutely good morning everyone um squash SA, obviously along with all the other sports have had to reassess many things um looking after the provinces the clubs the individual players the coaches who who have um generated no income during this time um so what we decided to do was sit down and um, reassess what we could do for the players, the provinces and the clubs. Um, and normally the S Growth Point SA Nationals are only hosted at one hub. Um, and now we've opened it up to all eight hubs, um, allowing them to encourage their players, their squash players to play. Um, without any travel. All right, so Squash is now finally making that comeback. Tell me a little bit about the Growth Point SA Nationals that are taking place next month. Right, so what we've done is we are having regional nationals first um, in eight different hubs. The winners of those hubs, which will be eight men and eight women, will go through to the finals, which starts from the quarterfinals at the Brooklyn Mall in Pretoria. Um, this can, um, this has increased our numbers considerably um, on, on entries and also to, to look after and to safeguard each of the players' um, health issues. Now, as you mentioned, the qualifying process is a, a new format. Was this to encourage more and more squash players to participate? Why was it so important to have more players involved this time around? Um, well, we just sat down and, 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 and felt that um, we needed to look after the squash player, um, squash in general, and also our um, sponsor, which is Growth Point. Um, and they have come to the party with us. And in order for us to, to have more mileage for them, we decided that to put these, to these regional tournaments around the country um, would assist them, it would assist us, and it would assist the players. All right, so how do players get involved? Where do they submit their entry? I know that entries close, I believe, tonight at midnight, so there isn't that much time left. Correct. Um, at currently, we are sitting at 315 entries, okay, which is um, the, the biggest entry we have ever had for any national tournament. Um, they All they have to do is go to sportyhq.com um, and register on there, and they can still enter till midnight. So, Jennifer, naturally, we know with this COVID-19 pandemic that we're still dealing with, there'll be a lot of fears with regard to safety. What are some of the measures that will be in place to ensure that players and everybody involved in this competition will be safe? Um, we have uh, staggered the playing time, so there are not that many people at the courts. Um, we are doing the same protocol, sanitize, um, temperature, registration, taking all their details, um, sanitizing the court, the ball, just the general um, appearance of the actual venues will be far cleaner, far more COVID friendly. All right, thank you very much. Acting President of Squash SA, Jennifer Sawyer, just talking to us about the exciting news that Squash is making its comeback. It's exciting. Yes. It's exciting. Yeah. So we're seeing more and more sport, just mm. relaxing and mm. coming out. Inside. Yeah. First it was rugby, yes. and now we're seeing now it's squash. It's, it's, really, it's really great. And it's as much as, you know, that fans in the tennis court or squash court or football stadiums mm. are missing, it's still so much better to at least have something to watch yeah. and to look forward yeah. to. Yeah.